We're not going to be playing as Axton. We are going to be playing as Salvador, the Gunzerker. And Doran Legend, that's one that you get, I think, for having played Borderlands 1. I'm a big fan of that one. We may just go with the Pandoran Legend with the with the Jack Lantern hat. We're going to call this YOLO 3 because this is technically my third attempt at a one life challenge. And here's Knuckle Dragger, who took Claptrap's eye. I love these uh, intro cinematics and stuff like that, by the way, that uh, they have going into all the little boss battles. So freaking good. All right. He's going to drop me this legendary, though. I hope you guys are ready. He's definitely dropping me this legendary. Okay. Ooh, that's more damage I want to take right from the start. Look at my look at my basic repeater right now, though. Look at this, man. How am I supposed to hit you? How am I supposed to do anything to you, really? Actually, I'm doing decent damage to him. I would just be happy once I uh once I don't have only a basic repeater as my weapon, because if I end up going down or something, I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to get back up. Although I think he spawns does he spawn smaller bully mongs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They start coming out of the wall sphincters. We're actually pretty good on ammo right now. Right now, I think the best thing for me to do is uh, hmm, try and weaken a lot of them. And then if I get put down by Knuckle Dragger, I'll be able to get back up off of one of the little guys. All right, level up, level two. By the way, leveling up in this game automatically heals you up to full, which is fantastic. Very, very helpful when you're doing a one life challenge. You love this game? Dude, I love it too. I mean, again, uh, it's in the title, but this is actually, for those who don't know, for one more minute anyway, this is the six year anniversary of Borderlands 2 releasing. And that's insane to me, man. Like, I, I distinctly remember picking up Borderlands 2. It was my old car. I drove to the local Walmart and I picked it up for the Xbox 360. And I remember having decently high expectations for it, but like not sky high. I played through Borderlands 1 because of a recommendation from my brother. My brother plays a lot of games. Like he loves RPGs and stuff like that. And he recommended Borderlands to me. And so I decided like one day I'm like, I'll try it. And I liked what I saw, but I wanted to play with a friend because the game was obviously very much built to be a co-op game. So I got my buddy Nick, otherwise known as Toucan. He was... Uh, he was part of a lot of different series here on my channel. Uh, Daisy, Minecraft, um, Borderlands, all sorts of stuff I've done with him. And so he and I played through the original Borderlands together. I was Mordecai, he was Brick. And uh, yeah, it was it was just, it was good fun. Then when they announced Borderlands 2 as a thing, these guys don't do any damage whatsoever. When they announced Borderlands 2 as a thing, I, uh, we jumped on it. We started playing together and... I mean, the rest was history, but yeah, I remember I remember that day very specifically. Okay, so we're ready. All right, now immediately we're gonna get right for this. We may have to start kiting him around or something. Okay, why are you running away from me? Why are you guys running away? No, you're supposed to fight me. How am I supposed to get up there, dude? That's no fair. That's not fair at all. Okay, well I wasted like my whole gun zerging. And now I can't like do much damage to him. What the heck, dude? He like straight up ran away from me. Okay, I guess he just I guess he just kind of does that and jumps around everywhere. This is why I I I'm not, I didn't even know why I wanted to do it, but I'm like, let's just clear out everything just in case. I don't want to take on like a boss guy whatsoever. You know, if I'm actually gonna be pulling other people in the area. How none of those shots hit, by the way. Um, and I'm glad I did that because now we got this guy jumping everywhere. Oh my gosh! So I killed the guy on. Uh, no, I killed. Oh, he's actually a badass. Wow. So I killed the bully mong and that healed me up. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I cleared everything because otherwise I would have been screwed there. Here we go. There's... There's Boom and his brother Boom. They drop a legendary grenade, by the way, which I will be getting. Now, here's the thing, man. Should I kill the cannon first or the little guy? I actually don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Please, please no hit Arino. Okay, so I already killed him. That was insanely easy. Okay, no, actually, I think I only killed Big Bertha. I may have only killed Big Bertha and not the actual... Okay, I didn't kill the person. Never mind. I thought I had killed the person, which made me pretty excited. Oh, I wish I could have hit that shot, but I'm bad. Just gonna take it nice and easy here. Uh, yeah, they have jetpacks, by the way, if you guys don't know. So they can, like, jump and, like, land places. I'm trying just to catch... And they also have shotguns and explosives. So I'm trying to catch them when they're, like, on the ground, by and large. 
Like, right here. Okay, I wish you would stand still for a sec. Oh, okay, that headshot, like, massacred him. And I missed. I'm missing, like, all my shots right now. We guys stop with the grenades. Every time I turn around, there's, like, four grenades at coming at me. Okay, so there goes one. It's 1,000 XP. That's insane. And then from here... Okay, we have we have uh, psychos coming up. So right here, we're going to do what I said earlier. Take the sniper. Swap that out for you. And then... I'm not playing games with these psychos. Uh-uh. Now you, my friend, need to get closer so I can just do this. And down he goes. That was actually pretty easy. It's a new torture, dolls, boys. Let's turn up the heat! And when he says, let's turn up the heat, he's not kidding, man. He ain't kidding. He ain't kidding at all. All right, so where is he? All right, so he's up there. Oh, wow, that did, like, nothing. How's, how'd that do nothing? Does he have headshot protection? Oh, dude, my sniper's doing nothing to him, guys. Like, literally nothing. Now, for right now, I, now, when he says turn up the heat, this is what he means, by the way. So, I think for the time being, uh, best thing to do is to just snipe down and kill all these guys that we can. We go for the no-scope. Let's go for a melee on you. All right, let's pull out the pistol. This guy's a little bit close for comfort. All right, and there's Captain Flint. Try to avoid being on top of those things. We're going to have to go, start gun circling here because I'm taking way too much damage. Uh, we have to get on top of these things here because they... Uh, don't want to be on top of those things there, rather, because they actually have fire to come out and hit you. I can't do any damage to this guy, guys. What, what is happening right now? Like, legit, I'm doing no damage to Captain... F oh, why am I now doing damage to him? How come I couldn't do any damage beforehand? Right. Try and kill off most of these guys. If I get put down, it's fine. Because there's so many of them right now. There's so many of them right here. Yeah, so that's my first down. That's fine. If you go down, that doesn't ruin the challenge. You just have to be able to get yourself back up. Uh, gosh, there's a lot of you. Part of me wants to just go back to the other side of the map. Because these guys, there's a freaking ton of these guys here. I thought, I didn't think there was this many people. Okay, so we're going to avoid uh, the rest of those guys right now. Let's try and get my shield back up. Which it is. And then we're going to go back to trying to hit them long range, I think. I could try using my sniper. There's Claptrap just hiding. I could try using my sniper. Okay, so maybe hitting him in the head is causing him like not to get hurt at all. I'm not sure. I want to leave this guy alive because I'm pretty positive he's the only ad I have left. Okay, no, we have more. Okay, so where's this where's this nerd at? Okay, no no fire, please. No fire. Burning Psycho, please die. And drop me health next time, you jerk. All right, Captain Flint, if you could start taking, like, a lot more damage than you currently are, that would be great. I regenerate health in gun zerking mode, so we're just going to go ahead and do... Oh, no! I just realized I have my sniper out. That's a big reason why my gun zerking is doing freaking nothing. Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay. We're going to keep on just trying to gun zerk down Captain Flint. We have health regeneration and everything while this is active. So we're just going to keep spamming and aiming at his head. If I go down, we have the fire psycho right here. All right, Captain Flint goes down, and he dropped us the tinderbox. Bandits of Sanctuary. I hear a new Vault Hunter has arrived in your city, so just turn him into me and you'll be rewarded. Don't worry. Nobody's going to turn you in. You're our only hope of stopping Jack. We actually have two badass psycho. No! I can't be out of ammo and I can't get knocked off the edge here. That would be terrible. Getting low on ammo here, which is not something I'm all about. Woo! Uh, I got some iridium. That's fine and dandy. I could use ammo. Is that it? That was fun. No, it wasn't. Well, the pelt that was fun. Thanks. Easy claps. I wish we had those emotes and stuff like that for YouTube. I really do. I love all the Twitch emotes. I love the easy. I love the claps. Um. <laughs> That's half the fun yeah. of Twitch, though, is the chat. Since the vault opened, my siren powers have been getting a little awesome, thanks to this iridium stuff. No idea why. Now, let's talk about rescuing my boyfriend. Black Ops 4 has no story. What if they were to release a Call of Duty movie that told the story of Black Ops 4? Bam, mind blown. How many minds did I just blow right now? How many minds? What if they were to do that? 
What if the entire story of Black Ops 4, which keep in mind is just going to fill in the gaps between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, what if that was if that was going to be the COD movie? Mind blowing. Mind blowing, boys. You heard it here first. I'm going to melee my boy. That, I'm going to melee him. He's going to drop me my gun. He actually dropped. No, he did. <laughs> Easy, boys! Easy! That's how you do it! It's not double penetrating, but whatever. There she is! Yeah, I didn't play Black Ops 3 either, dude. But I did call it! I'm like, I'm a melee him. He's gonna drop me my gun. Stand by and cover for me, bud. Just stand still. I've got one burst left. There you go. Now we'll get our ammo back. <laughs> this is actually much easier than the siren because ammo is not an issue. Like beforehand, when you're playing with the siren or I guess any other character because Salvador is the only character that can regen ammo. If you run out of sniper shots, like I no doubt would have by now many times, I'd have to either keep on pushing forward to try and scavenge ammo or like keep running back to the ammo machine and like take up a bunch of time. But uh, we don't have to do that here. I think I'm finally good to go up top which were his great can i please just climb the ladder thank you. you oh not a big scary bruiser oh mad mike where is he there he is okay now is there any barrels next to me no we're good okay oh i forgot about those i forgot about rockets okay but there's no explosives next to me fire sniper we can get some headshots here if those direct impact me, I'm dead. But they move so slow, I can see them coming. I might actually be able to shoot them out of the air. I'm not positive if I, if I can, though. And he died to fire damage. Easy, dude. There we go. So far, so good. But I really do think the, the true test of this mission isn't so much Mad Mike. It isn't. The true test is going to be that warden. That is a very chaotic and hectic scenario, dude. Hell of a job fighting through those bloodshots. This will just take a second. I feel like this cutscene needs music to be more intense. I mean, pretty cool, though. I ripped off the arm of the guy. and I think actual Uncharted Territory, though, is me beating the Warden. Because if I recall correctly, in the One Life Challenge, and right here is the Warden, by the way, in the One Life Challenge, I think I got up to the Warden, but there were so many things there, and I was so worried about dying that I got cold feet, and I ran back to go farm some levels or something, and while killing all the raiders that were in here, because I think they respawned, maybe, I, uh... I, that's when I died. I killed. I accidentally killed myself. You guys would all spawn in. There we go. Now pop yourself up for me, friend. There we go. Ow, 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 what the heck, 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 please let me die this way, please let me die this way, please let me die this way, I'm a freaking die this way, I died this way, I died to my own grenade! <laughs> it's me really hard for them to top Borderlands 2, like really, really freaking hard. Like, for starters, I'm pretty positive it's not even gonna be set on. It's not even gonna be set on Pandora. It's gonna be on Promethea. I think that's what most of the leaks are saying. So that's kind of like a strike against it already. I mean, Promethea could be cool, but we already all we love Pandora. We love Firestone. We love Sanctuary. And I don't know about you guys, but I'd be perfectly fine with both of those locations playing a major role in a third game. I'm fine with that. I, I would. I would in fact prefer that. Um, so let's see how that goes. There needs to be a lot of content, multiple raid bosses, really cool legendaries, and not just reskinned legendaries like we found in the pre-sequel. There's there's a lot to it, man. Like there's that game needs to be huge. I'm not sure we're ever gonna see a game as good as Borderlands 2 again, but I guess that's also okay. I talked about this recently with Black Ops 4. It's gonna be hard for Black Ops 4 to top like Modern Warfare 2, for example. But that's okay, because, you know, Modern Warfare 2 wouldn't be so special if every new game that came out ha happened to top it, you know? So it kind of makes sense. Okay, here we go, boys. Let's freaking do it. Time to, t time to deep dick this, boys. All right, no more shield. No more shield. No more shield. No more shield. And then we go for this. 
Unkempt hair with your face. Oh my god, is he actually gonna die? No way, that was too easy. <laughs> too easy. I was so worried. Oh, we still have this whole part. Ah, suck it, nerds. I can't believe how easy that was. I am so happy right now. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Like, I was straight up concerned. I was worried we were going to fail this. I mean, this part is somewhat hard, but really, not really. It's just a bunch of robots. Yeah, so Lilith did start a cult by being the Firehawk. Then in memoriam, Lilith is alive by appearing sure as hell doesn't need to know that. Oh yeah, this is that mission I was talking about earlier. We basically have to hide the fact that Lilith is alive. And then the Eternal Flame. Ever faked your own death? Tricky stuff. Yeah. Did it a couple years back to throw Hyperion off my trail, but apparently some bandit's been spying on me. He's going to tell Hyperion what he knows, unless you take him out first. It's 6.30, go to bed. Dalton, but here's the thing, dude. I woke up at like 5 in the afternoon. So let me tell you, it's a vicious cycle. Here's what's going to happen. I'll probably wrap up a stream, get some food. I don't know what I'm going to do after that, to be honest. I probably won't fall asleep immediately. Um, and then uh, sleep all day, and then wake up again at like 5 or 7 in the afternoon. Wait, where's Ball? There he is. Gun Zerk, let's just do it, man. Let's just, let, let's try her out. Whew. Not as much damage as I was hoping for. Check it out. Yes, I saw he dropped something, but right now I'm in the middle of spamming shots at the Alpha Snow Skag. Whoa! What? What? All right, this one's throwing lots of stuff. No, go back to throwing. Go back to throwing. Oh, my God. Don't hit me. There we go. My freaking goodness. That was the hardest freaking challenge. Oh, but now they're called boner farts, and I have to stop the mission. Now, watch. He's a Faravore. Watch his name. Now, he's a boner fart. All bully mongs from this point on in the game will be called boner farts. So long as you don't go ahead and uh, <laughs> finish the mission. Take it easy there, fellas. Well There's now, one. Set some more on fire before that one dies. Okay. Easy enough, I, I, would, I would imagine. Now hit it with the I, I'm going to try and hit it with the injector. Oh, I can hit them both with the injector. Inject you. Inject. Nope. I can't get that one too late. Mutated badass. Okay. You know what? I'm not a fan of this whole I might be dying thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The grenade. <laughs> okay. Look at you, glitchy. <laughs> look at this. Okay, maybe Borderlands 2 isn't as good as we remember, boys. What, what am I supposed to do to this guy? Where'd he even go? You clicked on this thinking it was a normal video, but welcome to the live stream, Anime 2400 Gaming. Where did... Okay, so looking at the mini-map, the park is now gone. I, <laughs> I don't know what happened to him, but my... Dude, I can't even lie to you guys. Judging by how little damage I was doing to that thing... I thought I was dead. It was partly due to the fact that I had a level 4 tinderbox and then this gun out. It's only one gun was actually doing damage, even though I was gun zerking. But then the fastball comes out of nowhere and just freaking destroys him in like one hit. But here's Tiny Tina, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're all here for. Let's get that cutscene. All around the stack this plant, the stalker chased the bandit. The stalker thought was all in fun. Pop! Goes the bandit. This is Felicia Sexo Pants. These fine ass women could stop that train for you, but I'm gonna need their but there it is. first, and they got stole by the bandit. Watch you your left eye. Go get him. Watch you. All right, all right, stops focusing. Okay, no more nap time. Watch your eye. Watch your left eye. Her left, our right. <laughs> there it is. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or if it's a bug, but it happens so much. 
But I do plan to make some Fallout 76 videos in the future. Um, maybe just exploring and, like, documenting specific areas that I think are really cool. Like, for example, vault Tech University and everything that happened there. I thought that was really interesting because it gives you this really unique perspective on what's actually happening at vault Tech. What if I die to a train? My God. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. But yeah, we need to go get, go get those badonkadonks here. Yeah, come on out there, Taskmaster. I'm not coming to you. You guys are coming to me. Give me your damn loot. Oh, this reminds me. So I told you guys earlier. Hold on. How much damage will this do through a shield? <laughs> I just build into grenades. This is stupid. But when my brother finally died for the... Actually, he died a couple times leading up to that. But when he got killed by that player, is uh, as soon as he died, he's like, don't scavenge my stuff. <laughs> just like the uh, Taskmasters do here in Borderlands 2. Oh, man. Definitely most excited for Siren. Yeah, dude. I, I I like Maya a lot here. Now, you guys know, like, I didn't play, like I said, I didn't play Lilith in Borderlands 1. Um, I may have made, like, a level 5 one or something. But uh, my only experience with Siren is with Maya here in Borderlands 2. And I only really play her in videos and in live streams. So I have very limited experience with playing as Sirens. And I want to play more because Sirens are an integral part of the Borderlands lore and everything. I think we cleared out everybody here. Oh, train. <laughs> oh! I died! I just died! It actually happened! The Hyperion Corporation. We make your life. Period. What if I died of a train?